Hey, what's up? I'm Chris Wilmshurst, and today we're taking a look at a relatively recently released OWC Thunderbolt 4 hub. This compact hub expands your new Thunderbolt 4 and Thunderbolt 3 devices with three extra Thunderbolt 4 ports. A Thunderbolt 4 host port, which provides 60 watts of power and one full-sized USB 3.2 port. What's even better is that not only did OWC kindly send this out to me to review, they are also providing one extra as a giveaway for my viewers. So stick around to find out how you could be in with a chance of winning this compact hub. The hub has this really nice small form factor, but I'm going to go straight in on one big negative, and that's the placement of the host port. It's right on the front. If you're going for a clean look to your setup, this makes it look messy with the cables looping all over the place. In my opinion, but yours may be different, I personally think that it should be on the back and the front should be for external devices only. I do like the inclusion of a legacy USB port. I've used this to charge devices and plug in my audio interface, but I think in my case, I would have much preferred an SD card reader here. I know the new MacBook Pros come with card readers, but for some people like me that still have the last generation of Intel Macs, or those who plan to use this Mac with an iPad Pro, it would be a welcome addition. The inclusion of three Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back is awesome. This means that you have three separate ports which you can daisy chain even more Thunderbolt 4 products off, or just use them as regular USB-C ports. There is a lack of connectivity for standard display cables, so if you don't have access to a monitor with Thunderbolt or USB-C connections, you'll have to pick up an adapted cable like a USB-C to HDMI cable. There's also no Ethernet jack, which is a bit of a shame as I do prefer to be hardwired when I'm docked at my desk. Obviously, with this size, they've had to make a few sacrifices in order to keep it this small. It matches the style of their older Thunderbolt 3 hubs with a space gray rim and that glossy black top I just did not like. But unlike the last generation of hubs, it features a light up OWC logo, which I believe adds a nice touch. When it's not plugged into your machine, the logo glows white, and when it is, it glows blue. But it doesn't stop there. I really like that OWC allow you to turn this off or drop the brightness with this recess button because I personally think the blue is a bit harsh at the max brightness. It outputs 60 watts of charging through the host port, so if you're like me and you use a 16 inch Pro, you will suffer some battery drain if you're using processor intensive apps. Sometimes it wouldn't even charge. Now if you're using an M1 iPad Pro or MacBook, this will provide you with enough power to keep you going without any issues, as the M1 lineup is very, very good when it comes to power efficiency. M1 Pro and M1 Max users won't need to worry as they'll have the option to use the included MagSafe charger in addition to this. Regarding power, this hub obviously needs to be plugged into a wall, but I find it funny that the power brick is bigger than the hub itself. I'd love to see them release a new smaller size brick, maybe something along the size of those modern gallium nitrate chargers that are popping up everywhere. I'm also happy to say that with these newer hubs, they've included a longer Thunderbolt 4 cable for connecting to your devices. This was a big complaint on Thunderbolt 3 hubs that I had, but this one is slightly longer, so you've got a bit more option on where to place it. Cost-wise, it's pricey. $179 in the US or £171 in the UK, it's very close to the cost of the older Thunderbolt 3 hub, which has 14 ports over the five that this offers. Obviously, the larger hub doesn't benefit from the additional Thunderbolt ports and increased bandwidth for displays that Thunderbolt 4 brings, but it offers so much more in terms of connectivity that it might be worth going for that instead. Now, obviously, this hub isn't made for someone like me who uses a 16-inch Pro with a lot of legacy devices and drives connected to it. I think this is more for those who need a simple docking solution with a full-blown Thunderbolt ecosystem. But what if you use an iPad Pro? I think this could be a really good option for you. Yes, it does lack some of the connectivity I mentioned earlier, but the iPad Pro can take full advantage of the size and that front host port will be far better for connecting to an iPad than a laptop. It does lack an SD card reader, which the iPad Pro could really use, but you could always pick up one of these UHS-2 readers for next to nothing. It'll fully charge your iPad with ease and allow you to daisy chain to monitors or connect any USB-C device you want. 
What I look for in a hub is first of all, the connectivity, but it also needs to look good. And I think OWC's Thunderbolt 3 hubs had a great balance. With the low power output and lack of SD card reader, this is not the hub for me, but I can see this working for a lot of people. The small size is great, but I associate small hubs with portability. This needs a large power brick to work, so I'm not sure why it needs to be so small. I personally still use the Travel Dock E every time I go into the office, as it offers surprisingly, in my opinion, far better expandability when you take out that it's USB-C and not Thunderbolt 4. So I'd recommend this over this if you don't need Thunderbolt 4 speeds. It's also incredibly cheaper. And with that cost difference, it's obvious that Thunderbolt accessories are far more expensive and you're paying a big premium to use that connection speed. But I'd honestly consider looking at either the older Thunderbolt 3 dock from OWC or their larger Thunderbolt 4 dock. That's if you can ever get your hands on it, as it's always sold out. So that's my review on this Thunderbolt 4 hub from OWC. It's good, but I think you're better off picking up the last gen Thunderbolt 3 hub or spending a bit more on the 14 port hub. So with that out of the way, who wants to win one? If you'd like to be in with a chance of winning this hub, simply drop a comment down below with an Apple emoji so I know you've made it this far and I'll pick a winner at the end of the month and OWC will ship one out to you. So as always, thank you OWC for being so supportive of my channel and sending out so many goodies for me to try out. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and turn on the bell so you're notified when I release a new video. Take care.